I'm Stephen Benoon, and you are watching Israeli News Live. I'm bringing you a, a short news cap, a prophetic segment, actually, in regards uh, to events that are happening around the world, uh, especially as we have been trying to travel. Those of you that know us know that we stay in between Israel and Europe anyway, so everything for us here is right here close by. It's easy to travel, like in the United States, if you were just traveling from Alabama to Florida, uh, or to Georgia, uh, places that are easy for us to go and to cover some of the important events there. Uh, today we were actually able to see the Pope address the crowd. It was amazing to see the response of the people, very much uh, in unison for him. Uh, but we wanted to see this for ourselves, and we wanted to be able to see the different uh, things that are here, just to be able to show you exactly what's going on in the teachings that we've taught on the New Institute of Biblical Research. <clears throat> but in regards to this, though, um, we know that Israel, and I'm just getting this uh, in, in the early stages of the story here, that Israel is fixing to go to a mandatory biometric uh, identification system that is coming out very soon, uh, which very much concerns me for, for the Jewish people. Uh, but it, it makes you think of Antichrist-type systems. Uh, we know the U.S. is under uh, a, a very big strain. I spoke when I spoke uh, recently uh, in, in Chicago, Illinois, there we spoke by by uh, by internet hookup to the group that was there, and Sister Leora's thing there, speaking about how that we knew that you guys were fixing to go through some martial law training by the military there. Very serious things that are going on around the world, and um, it just concerns us about the way the world is going. But in light of this, I have watched Israel make concession after concession with the different nations of the world, and I have watched uh, Israel, they've gone back and forth, uh, right here to Rome, where we are now, making different agreements between the United States uh, for the Palestinian cause, the two-state solution, uh, and, and everybody comes to Rome, and that's one of the reasons why we wanted to come here as well, to see why does everyone come to Rome? Uh, and in the process of this, as, as I begin to think about this and meditate on this, one thing came back to my mind, and it was a particular part of the verse that I had seen just recently in Exodus uh, chapter 34, where I mentioned to you about the two witnesses and Moses, a scripture that had never been fulfilled for him, that is still yet to be fulfilled. A very clear scripture that tells us that he will return. But there's another thing in there that I've been thinking about, and this is why I wanted to share this with you on our news as a prophetic moment. Again, let's take it back to verse 10. It says here, and he said, Behold, I will uh, I make a covenant. Now this is Hashem himself. This is God Almighty himself speaking to Moses. This is after the whole Exodus event. This is after the children of Israel have crossed the Red Sea, after all the plagues that happened in Egypt. And now God is saying to Moses, uh, he says, I will make a covenant before all thy people. I will do wonders. That's like tremendous miracles, in other words. Such as have not been wrought or done in all the earth, nor in any nation. Moses never did greater miracles while he was on his earthly ministry. So the question is, is when is this going to happen? As we've already brought out to you. And he says, and all the people among which you are, or, you know, that you are, that you're dwelling among, shall see the work of the Lord that I am about to do with thee, that it is tremendous. That it's actually, in Hebrew, the word is used, it's, it's an evil thing. Because it's judgment is what it is. But all the people, now this is not the children of Israel, it's all the people that he's among. So that's something very interesting in itself there. But notice what next he says here. Then he says to Moses, Observe thou, which is the word you, that which I, command, that which I am commanding thee this day, or you this day. Behold, I am driving out before you the Amorite and the Canaanite and the Hittite and the Perizzite and the Hivite and the Jebusite. Okay? He's driving out these people out of the land. Then he said, this is the important one right here, verse 12, Take heed to thyself, lest thou, or you, lest you make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, whether thou goest, in other words, wherever the place that you're going. Now he's talking about Israel. But here's what's so ironic about this. God already knew. God, is, God has foreknowledge. God is not 
somebody that makes one decision one way and then changes his mind makes a decision another way. God knew, even before Moses ever smote the rock, when he told him to speak to it, that he wasn't going to let him go in the promised land. He knows everything. He knows it before you ever do it. So why is God prophesying to Moses that he's going to go into this land, and now he's warning him, he said, take heed to yourself, lest you make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, whether thou goest. Do you mean to tell me that when the two witnesses return, that the, 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 those leaders that are in charge, we're talking about, the Vatican being in charge to begin with of the whole world new system, but even their, their diplomats such as John Kerry, uh, whoever they may be using, Barack Obama, the delegations, they're going to try to make a covenant. They're going to try to make a peace covenant with the two witnesses, and God is warning Moses, do not do it. Now see, in Hebrew, the word you it's easy to tell when God is specifically talking about a specific individual or a singular you, in other words, versus you all, like we would say in the South, all of you or something like that. And God specifically says to Moses that it, that word is you, Ata, he's the one that they're going to try to make this covenant with. And he says, behold, I am driving out, excuse me, I'm sorry, back up, here we go, uh, lest you make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, whether thou goest, lest they be for a snare in the midst of thee. So God has to warn his own prophet Moses. One, he prophesies that he's going, and he's going to do great miracles, wonders, evil things that will come. In other words, because it's judgment that's coming on the land. And because of the judgment, like the nations do now, if they're losing in a battle, they're quick to want to make a covenant, a peace covenant, to end all of this. And God warned Moses, don't do it. It'll be a snare to you if you do. It's the same thing he warned Joshua when Joshua went into the land. Don't make any covenants with them at all. Pray for those two witnesses when they come. We know it would be Moses and Elijah, but pray for them. Because we can see clearly by the word of God, there will be a temptation to make a covenant. And God's already warned him not to do it. I'm Stephen Benoon with your prophetic segment of Israeli News Live. Shalom.